The Justice Sector Coordinating Council The Justice Sector Coordinating Council, or the JSCC, composed of the Supreme Court, or the SC, the Department of Justice, or the DOJ, and the Department of the Interior and Local Government, or the DILG, was created on April 30, 2010 to serve as a joint forum for dialogue on issues of common interest and mechanism for effective coordination and sharing of information in support of planning and implementation of joint initiatives among justice sector institutions, specifically the SC, the DOJ, and the DILG. JSCC Principles the JSCC current principals are Chief Justice Alexander G. Gismundo, representing the SC, Justice Secretary Crispin C. Remulia, representing the DOJ, and Interior Secretary Benjamin C. Abalos Jr., representing the DILG. The JSCC is assisted by a secretariat whose main function is to provide technical and logistical support to the Council. The Secretariat is currently composed of Deputy Clerk of Court and Judicial Reform Program Administrator, Attorney Laura C. H. Del Rosario, DOJ Undersecretary Raul T. Vasquez, and DILG Undersecretary for Operations, Lord A. Villanueva. There are also seven technical working groups or TWGs under the JSCC, each focusing on specific thematic areas. These TWGs are as follows. 1. Processes and Capacity Building 2. Information and Communications Technology and Infrastructure 3. Communications and Partnership Building 4. Legislative Agenda and Policies 5. Sector Planning and Budgeting 6. Sector-Wide Data Reconciliation and 7. Evidence Management System these TWGs are composed of representatives of concerned justice sector agencies and offices. During the JSCC Principals Meeting at the Manila Hotel last May 5, 2022, Chief Justice Gismundo remarked that JSCC had broken down the walls and opened the lines of communication between the justice sector actors, which is the crucial foundational network for coordination. He said, Without ever compromising institutional independence, the Supreme Court, the Department of Justice, and the Department of the Interior and Local Government, and all the respective attached offices and agencies, have ushered in a new way, a better way, to serve the Filipino people. While each institution continues to pursue its standalone programs and activities, at the same time as a sector, for activities that require the involvement of two or more agencies or offices, planning and operations, and now even budgeting, has become coordinated. Justice Zones The flagship program for justice sector coordination at the local level is the establishment of Justice Zones. Justice Zone is a reform program that involves developing an area into a zone, based on a selection and accreditation system established by the JSCC and where a minimum number of interagency coordinative reforms are present, rendering that area or locality as compliant to fully functional. To date, there are 10 justice zones established nationwide. The first justice zone project in Quezon City launched in 2014, Cebu City in 2018, Davao City, Angeles City, Bacolod City, and Naga City, all in 2019, Kalamba City, the first to be launched virtually and during a pandemic in 2021, Balanga City and Baguio City in 2022, and Zamboanga City, the first ever trafficking-free justice zone in February of this year. Specialty Justice Zones The JSCC has likewise introduced the Specialty Justice Zones with the inauguration of the first-ever trafficking-free justice zone in Zamboanga City on February 24, 2023. These Specialty Justice Zones will allow the Council to focus its actions on specific areas of concern in these potential Justice Zone sites. In the works is a Green Justice Zone in Palawan for climate protection and conservation interests. 
and an ecotourism justice zone in Tagaytay City. In recognition of the reality, the tourism in the country, in spite of being one of the country's biggest revenue sources, has brought about a multitude of justiciable issues and challenges. In line with the thrust of Subchapter 13.2 of Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028, to the JSCC plans to continue establishing more justice zones to highlight the justice sector's approach towards a responsive and real-time delivery of justice. Other JSCC Projects On top of the creation of justice zones and specialty justice zones, the JSCC has also introduced other justice sector-related initiatives, such as the eDALO project, which has enabled detention prisoners to virtually meet with relatives and consult with their lawyers via voice-over internet protocol technology, the electronic transmittal of warrants of arrest, hold departure orders, metemesis, commitment orders, and notices to detention prisoners, the repiloting of the National Prosecution Service Mediation, and various training programs for judges, prosecutors, lawyers from the public attorney's office, and police investigators. The goal of providing seamless access to justice for all is a vision shared by the JSCC's current and future projects and the Supreme Court's Strategic Plan for Judicial Innovations 2022-2027 or the SPJI introduced under the leadership of Chief Justice Gismundo. The SPJI's target outcome of innovation complements the objectives of the JSCC in that the SPJI pushes for the adoption of measures to utilize the most appropriate, secure, and advanced technologies to enhance the efficiency of court services, reduce delays in case processing and disposition, and increase justice system-wide collaboration. Through the joint commitment of the Supreme Court, the DOJ, and the DILG of fostering and enabling an environment in the justice system of partnership, communication, and collaboration, the JSCC continues to pave the way for an effective sector approach to public service.